What's up you guys? So we are back at it and I'm on a lake, a little lake here in central Florida. I've never fished this lake before. It's kind of hard to get on because of the water levels. They monitor, monitor daily and they don't open the, the ramp unless the water levels are low enough. So we are going to go out here and see what's going on. The average depth is, up, is about six feet. So the water clarity, at least the ramp, doesn't look that great. I don't know what the grass looks like or how it sets up. So we're going to have to go out here and see. We don't have ideal conditions today. It's about 70. It's going to get into the mid 80s. We have a 10 to 20 mile an hour west southwest wind. So I'm going to focus on that west or yeah, on that west bank and that south bank. And we're just going to run water with moving baits, stay in that six, seven to the to zero range see if we can find an area where they're holding spawning if that doesn't work we'll try to find some transition areas some points secondary points just some deeper water near spawning areas so we're gonna go out here and see what we can do i'm excited because i've been wanting to fish this lake for a while and we're finally here so let's go get them what's up georgia you ready to do this oh yeah i know you're ready you're always ready So we got 73.7 degree water temp. We're gonna fish moving baits. Let's see if we can, what we can figure out. Now, crazy thing about fishing a new lake, and you guys know how it is, you could be in the first, worst part of the lake. There's usually key areas. Just throwing this black and blue chatterbait around. These fish with this water clarity should be pretty shallow, I would think. Oh wow, yeah, it's less than a foot, so we're going to stay, I might have to change this because when I get, I'm not getting hung up a lot in grass, but when I get up in that shallow area, I am, and that's probably, might be the most productive water, really shallow. Bed, beds up there. There he is. One of the Alabama shake. I'll be honest with you guys, since I changed this rod, I went to a medium heavy rod. Got a good tip, seven foot. This rod, man, makes this bait. It transformed it from that that heavy action rod. You know, when you're doing that, it just you have a two by four and it's like doing nothing. You got that softer tip, and it's just you literally can hover the bait and not even move it. So you can bring it, and you're just like if you're in a pool and you're just kind of and staying in one spot and keeping off the bottom, staying in the middle. That's what you're doing. You're just sitting. It's sitting right there. You don't have to move it. So. Maybe that's what they want. I'm not gonna say you didn't eat it great with the hook set. I didn't realize it was a fish just because there's so much grass up here shallow. We're gonna have to slow it down, it looks like. And the first fish kind of on this south, west south area. So maybe we figured, maybe we found something. Oh, that's a fish. Wow. Get that, jerking it through that grass. Got a little windblown grass edge. Peeing. Peeing. Dang, bro, I don't want to take all your stuff out. Sweet spot somewhere. We gotta find it. There he is. About the same area. It's gonna stay on. 
little guy. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there he is. Hit right at the boat. Eight feet of water. I just switched back to the black and blue, too. And throwing that white because the sun has come out, but maybe they don't want the white. You didn't want that white, did you, buddy? You wanted that black and blue. Not many to show. Number four, I think. Male. Oh, there he is. There we go, there we go, there we go. Stay on, stay on. Man, he ain't that big, but he's the biggest one of the day. Number five. <laughs> five. Just came off of that. That's a good one. Two pounder. Barely. There he is. Going for that dock, weren't you, boy? It's a male. Golly. He is super skinny. Golly, super skinny. There he is. Super skinny. Of course, now it's going to be like, yeah, you should have been throwing a sinker the whole day, dummy. Nah. Sometimes you gotta throw something different. Here we go. There we go. Get in here. Freaking right on the shoreline, bro. Right on the shoreline. like a fresh fish too. Fat. I don't know if that's a male or female. Probably a female. It's a good one. Probably two and a half. A little heavier. Well, probably two six, two. Let's see. Two five. I was close. Drop them in, they just. <laughs> wow, it's three fish in the Cinco since I put it on. Here you go, Cinco it is. They all look the same. Small mouth, big body. Man, I ripped that one's left head. Look how fat that thing is. It's like a popkin bass. Look how small his mouth is. They're two and a half -er. Look how fat. Wow, these are healthy fish in here. Did I just do that? Look at that. Must have. Jeez. This fish may not have been caught before. Look how small the mouth is compared to the body. That's a fat female body, I guess. There you go. Slow and shallow. I threw around here, but I think I threw with a swim jig around here. 
just goes to show you you can run areas with moving baits and they can still be there just because they invite your bait i know you're looking for active fish but you can miss a halfway decent area possibly by just running through there and assuming they're not there but hey how are you Oh, it was a bass. Yeah? Yeah. What have you been doing out here? Um, I've got not really great, but um, I think that was number nine. For the day? Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you getting on? Oh, this is a Cinco. Oh, gosh. We've been fishing here so much, we can't catch anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's my first time here. Um, I've heard there's big fish in here. You, when you throw those in, do you, do you pull them back in immediately, or you throw it, let it sink, and then pull it back in immediately, or what do you do? So I'll throw it out, <clears throat> and you'll just let it sit, and then you'll, because you want to, you want to basically reel to 12 to 10, then up to 12, then reel to 10. So you want it to do that. Okay. You pull it up, and it goes down. And then, you know, and then you can just twitch it. This is about the best stretch that's not getting wind right now. Everything's getting beat pretty bad. There we go. Little ones. Well, you got a pretty good area right here. Good luck, man. I'll look you up. All right, appreciate you. Oh, my God. In here. <laughs> that boy is stunned. Stunned. Uh, uh. Gosh, can't get a big one. Put them in the water, they gone. They ain't no sit there for a minute. They gone. Get in here. There he is. There we go. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on. Get in here. There we go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that jumper. Man, I ripped his lip really good too. But these fish have not been caught. Man, he's so slimy and cool. Look at that, guys. That's cool. Let's see. Let's, let's get a weight. Probably three pounds. These fish are healthy for their age. Three, one. take off here. I mean there's definitely fry everywhere. So just focusing on the shallow stuff right now, so low. You know, I moved through a lot of this water with moving baits, picked up one here and there, but never could identify an area that I felt like had fish. So just sticking around this kind of southwest area. Yes. There he is. Get in here. Man, he was gone, bro. He was gone. Weren't you, buddy? He was taking off. Long, long, long male, long skinny. All right, guys, we are out. So cool little lake. Um, so I came in. Obviously, the wind was a major distraction. There was only a little bit of area that wasn't getting hammered by the wind. But 
So I ran it with moving baits, picked up a few here and there, primarily fishing outside where the, the cover from the bank kind of came outside more. And then I worked in, in some areas with a swim jig, a lot of boat docks, not a ton of shallow cover. It's kind of like Kissimmee grass, kind of mucky stuff. Um, there's some reeds and it's like kind of like three different lakes that kind of connect. And so just ran water, picked up some, but never found an area that I felt like they were spawning. Um, not a ton of offshore grass because the water is only a foot, foot or less visibility. There is a little bit of structure in one area and that's the only area that has grass that falls out to the lake because it comes shallow out in the lake. But it was eel grass and the wind was hitting it in, in a crazy direction. So it was kind of hard to kind of go out there and investigate it other than just throw around it. Didn't get much on it. Found a couple of areas, went back towards the end of the day um and tried to get in some of these areas that were not wind blown and then just started flipping with a 316 pounds and a cinco and picked up several on the bank there's tons of fry on the bank um those those bigger the bigger ones that i caught shallow super shallow um they were they looked fat i'm guessing maybe the next wave you know i don't know all these all these lakes are different when they spawn and when they start to spawn it's that bell curve you know you have a little bit of spawn and you have a little bit spawn and then you have a lot some of these littler lakes you know the peak is like in march um and then it's good march and april so four primary baits uh cinco june bug i did catch one on green pumpkin and that's what told me let's slow down with the cinco lightweight black and blue chatterbait the rukashad three quarter ounce and black and blue swim jig, but I only caught one on that. So cool lake, I'll probably come back. It doesn't really set up for what I like. I like deep, I like offshore deep, good contours, grass that comes out, hard edges, but it's a cool lake and I know there's big ones in here, but there's a ton, of, there's a ton of boats. I mean, everybody on the lake's got a boat, so uh, I'm sure it gets fished a ton, but we are out. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. Hit that like and subscribe, guys. If you like fishing, you like watching fishing, and you like watching fishing where the people actually fish, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll see you next time on BMS Fishing. We out.